What's up guys, I'm Anil and welcome to the very tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're gonna download and install the code block IDE for C++. So I want you guys to open up your browser and uh, go to google.com and then as a search term, enter code block and uh, hit enter. Uh, click on the first link and it's gonna take you to the CodeBlocks website. As you can see here, CodeBlocks is an open source cross-platform free C++ IDE. You guys can have a look at the features, um, plugins, all these things. Uh, the important thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this downloads. And once we click on that, it's gonna take us to the download page. And uh, here we have download the binary release download the source code or retrieve source code from SVN. So if we download this binary release then it's very easy to set up and install. That's why we're gonna click on this download the binary release. Okay here we can see that you know the code blocks is available for different different platforms for Windows, Linux, Fedora, you know all these platforms are available. So what we are interested is here in the Windows section and uh, here we have codeblocks 12.11 setup.exe and codeblocks 12.11 setup user.exe you know which is 28.2 MB here it won't come with the tool set we need to download and install the tool set GCC or uh, uh, Intel or any other we need to download and install but here the next two options we can see codeblocks 12.11 mingw setup exe and codeblocks 12.11 mingw setup user.exe which is 96.8 MB large and which comes with mingw which uses GCC toolset. So you guys can uh, see here we have two options one is uh, setup another one is setup user. So if you download this user then uh, you don't need administrative power or administrative rights in your computer to install this but if you use this 12.11 min gw setup then you need admin rights to set up some uh, paths and all those things so here i assume that you guys have the admin rights in your computer that's why we're gonna download this um, code blocks 12.11 min gw setup.exe so click on the uh, download providers i'm gonna click on the first one and um, once you click on that your download will start in uh, some time uh, i have already downloaded this one so i'm not gonna be downloading it again so i'm gonna close this one all right guys once your download finishes go and open up the location where you have saved your file uh, mine is in the downloads folder and uh, in the downloads folder you guys can see the code block application just double click on it and um, you need to give administrative permission click on this s click on this next i agree next install it's gonna take some time to install so be patient Okay, once the installation finishes, it's gonna ask, do you want to run code blocks now? So I'm gonna click on this S and here next and finish. And it's gonna launch the code blocks IDE. And uh, here you guys can see compiler auto detection. So GNU GCC compiler detected. You need to make sure that uh, at least one compiler is detected you know if you have followed me then you guys will get this GNU GCC compiler and status is detected then uh, click on this ok um, just associate code blocks with C or C++ file types I'm gonna click on this ok and next uh, we're gonna create a new project just to make sure that you know our installation has successfully done and then uh, here you guys can see different categories of projects that uh, we can develop using the code blocks. Uh, what we are interested here is in the console applications. That's why I'm gonna select that and click on this go. And um, if you guys want to skip this in the next time, you guys can select this one. 
and click on this next C++ next then we need to give a project title I just wanna say test and uh, here we need to specify the path so I'm gonna select my computer and my uh, local disk F drive and I'm gonna create a folder inside that F drive and I'm gonna call it as C++ programming and uh, that's it I'm gonna select that one and uh, click on this OK and everything is done click on this next and uh, finish okay once you do that here in the workspace you guys can see the project test and in and a folder called sources and inside that sources folder you guys can see a main.cpp file just double click on it and it's gonna open up this um, file in the editor and uh, I want you guys to go to this build build and run or you guys can press the F9 key and uh, if you guys get this hello world or this uh, console window then uh, your installation is successful and uh, I'm gonna close this one right now and in the next tutorial we're gonna start writing codes in C++ so this is how you guys can uh, download and install the code blocks IDE thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial